Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Midweek Mindset. So I, I need to tell you a story. Um, the weather was beautiful yesterday. Got my bicycle and hit to, hit uh, the road. Um, got a 30 mile ride in yesterday. It was a, it was a great ride. Um, almost, almost all of it was a great ride. There was just, there was just that little, little, little bit. And, uh, Hey, some of you guys are, that know me well are probably laughing already, and it's not that I'm accident prone. I just have a more creative way of completing a task once in a while, all right? <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm on a bicycle ride and, and cruising and, and probably 18 to 20 mile an hour in this stretch and in a place that, I, that I've been many times before, and this road has some uh, um, gravel driveways and, and things that come up to the edge of it. And so in places, there's a little bit of gravel or a little bit of debris that gets out on the pavement. And uh, I lost focus for just a minute. I, I was probably daydreaming, thinking about something else for just a minute in one of those places where some gravel was out onto the pavement. And it caused me to... Uh, <laughs> um, caused me to, to, to wreck. Long story short, I, um, I I got slowed down pretty good before I went down all the way, so it wasn't, wasn't too bad. Um, have my helmet on, and my head never touched the pavement on, on this one. Uh, my, my right shin and my ribs on the right side um, took kind of a jolt, but, but I'm fine. And so some of you guys are laughing uh, that know me well, and um, <laughs> keep it down so everybody else can hear all right <laughs> um, so anyway yeah sometimes I have some um, creative moments I guess in completing things it's not that I'm accident prone and it just sometimes uh, those things happen except in this case why did that happen in and, and probably some of the other times where I have you know do where things happen is I lost focus I lost focus for just a little bit. Um, I let my attention span um, drift off uh, to, to something else. And, and so I allowed, um, so with that debris ahead of me, if I had been paying attention, right, that I would have, would have maneuvered well through that and been fine. But I was distracted. And I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't focused on the right thing at the right time. And it caused me to uh, have a little accident. And the point is, um, man, that's how our Christian life goes. We're going along on, on, this, on this journey, on this road, and, and things are going smooth. And, and uh, the weather's great, everything, circumstance, all seems like it's going so well, right? We get looking around and... Uh, looking at the trees and the birds and uh, and uh, was just going along smoothly and we lose focus on some of the priorities and some things that happen in front of us and before you know it we stumble and fall we we led something that if we had we been focused would have never tripped us up but we lost our focus and and uh, we went down right <laughs> um, so uh, a while back I worked through Hebrews chapter 11 and Hebrews chapter 11 is talking about faith and, and that is absolutely fantastic great examples of faith all through that go back and, and take a look at some of the uh, previous episodes if you want but, but then one of the great things about Hebrews 11 is that fo it's followed by Hebrews 12 and I want to read just a couple verses here Hebrews 12 says, Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let, our, let us fix our, fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition for sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. <laughs> that sin that so easily entangles, that little bit of gravel 
um, and debris that's out on the pavement. Um, it can happen quick. It can happen quick. Cruise along and, and something, boom. And the next thing you know, we fall because we didn't keep our eyes fixed on, on Jesus. Uh, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Um, it's important to keep our focus. Um, back in, in Proverbs chapter 4, there's a, there's a passage I want to read just a little bit out of Proverbs 4 beginning in verse 18. The path of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. But the wicked... But the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to a man's whole body. Above all else, guard your heart, for, it's the wells, for it is the wellspring of life. Put away perversity from your mouth keep corrupt talk from your lips let your eyes look straight ahead fix your gaze directly before you make level paths for your feet and take only ways that are firm do not swerve to the right or to the left keep your foot from evil you know they didn't have many bicycles back in those days so the, the illustrations are about a path that you're walking on or running on but the same thing applies in keeping focus on what's before us so that the enemy doesn't trip us up. Have a great day.